from the universe. As the universe responds to it, the heart receives the information. Once the heart receives the information, it passes up into a ladder like UPS, box it up, put a bow on it, and guess what it do? It ships it up to that mind, which is the brain. That brain unwraps that package of information, idea, thoughts, and words that the universe has gave it to from the heart. And the information and words that is now laid out to it, what the brain do with the subconscious on use, it start to make sense of the information that it got for the heart. So it now start to become like ideals. But the ideals of the language that you already know in your condition and way. The universe responds to everybody in its own way, the way that it connects with you. And it could be on the lower frequency or a higher frequency, but it's still responding to you. But bringing conscious awareness of this takes you to a higher level. Now, some most times, people have the ability to feel things before they happen, to see things before they happen, classentian. To be clairsentient is to feel something even before it happens or know something before it happens and then it ends up happening. This is the body language speaking before the mind could even talk. You could just feel something. The universe responds to you through the language and if you can release all that hard wire in there stagnation and entanglements that's inside of you you now open up the energetic field where the energy can flow and you can be more receptive to the universe where it can actually start responding to you and now you can discern with the heart and soul or knowing what is really true and what is false seeing through the facade Seeing with a new pair of lens. You can call it deception before you can see it. You can actually not only now be aware of who you are, but now also be aware of who others are. And you can see what level of conscious they at just by looking at them. You can just pick up on the energy and tell them what may be meant for them to hear in that moment in a divinely matter. But this comes with trusting the heart, trusting the soul, you can get your body to communicate with you, starting with your heart. Ask your heart, what is a no? Breathe in three times. Release. Breathe in. Release. Breathe in. Release. Now feel deeply how your heart, hear your heart beat and how it feels. And ask your heart to show me a no. Respond to me in the language of the mind. And your heart will say, show me a no. Did you get one beat or did you get a quick two beat? Show me a yes, heart. Did you get a quick two beat first? Did you get a quick no beat first? See, now you're trusting the heart on information. So you don't have to seek no answers outside of yourself. And I promise if you do this, you got to do them three breaths first to get a body calmness and to move the anxiety away. Deep breaths and then exit. Anytime you had an indecision, put your left hand over your heart and your right hand over your left hand. Do the breathing and then ask the question alone. If you got yourself in walk around the corner right quick to figure something out. If you feel like somebody lying, let me walk around the corner right quick. If you can't get it right off the bat, 
Give yourself that time. Don't let five sit, you know, five minutes, two, three minutes. Ask yourself that question. And then go back and make a decision. Your heart will never lie to you. This is why they tell you to vibrate at a high frequency. This is why they tell you to move with love and light. However, you can also be intuitively guilty. Once you learn how to put the monkey mind at ease, you know, get rid of that chatter. See, even when your mind is out of control, you feel you can't think. Once again, get that language that connects with your heart. It will respond to you. And it'll push that mind out. So now you'll know if your mind even lied to you. See, now you can check yourself. See, most people don't want to do this type of work with them. But if you wish to have discernment on what's good for you, what can help you and what won't help you in life, and then now you can be like, wow. I actually, you know, understand who I am. I actually, you know, gain the ability to move forward in life and making wise decisions now. They talk about decisions when we were kids. They talk about making right decisions and choices when we were younger. But they never explained to us, the, you know, the reason we should make good decisions. And that might sound crazy. But I feel like things, the importance of certain things really need to be explained and broken down to a lowest form. For people can be receptive to understand it. Because it have everything to do with them. And... Decisions are important because you can make right decisions for yourself. Just trust your heart. You ain't got to ask nobody. You ain't got to go outside yourself, no friend, no partner. You got your confirmation. Sit by yourself. Do them three breaths. Call on the divine. It's your heart, your body to respond to you in a way that it can understand it in the language of the mind. And it will give you clarity as you do this each and every day until you clear this charter box and release it. But you got to also be going outside, meditating. And I want to help you guys do this. You know, being grounded and connect the Mother Earth is how you release all this stagnation. Again, configuration, configuration, bringing all the elements into alignment for you can get that harmonious balance where you can actually get that real divine connection more clearly than you've been getting. You'll be more receptive and life can actually start moving at ease for you. Like a bundle and flow and you won't have to worry about nothing else in life. Literally like it sound you know crazy but <laughs> you really won't have to worry about nothing else in life. All you do is to trust your heart and soul and divine and you just go. You start to understand who you are. You start to understand your purpose and you continue to grow. You continue to grow. You continue to grow. And you continue to glow and glow and glow. So this is how you have wonderful, wonderful discernment and know what's right for you. This is the start of listening to your intuition by trusting the heart. Once again, your boy promised the great, the promised team. You understand me? Contact me below. Get on my YouTube, my Instagram, the promised team dot greats. My online store, the promised team dot company dot site. Facebook, promised the great. YouTube, promised the great. Subscribe to my channel. You know, share. Spread the word, show love, donations of self, to whatever it is that's communicating, that's network to independent business owner, um, anybody that's seeking assistance on doing free consultants all the way to May the 1st. Free consultants for everybody, 10 minutes free consultants, one on one, me and you in divine, giving you exactly what you need each and every time to May 1st. So, Make sure you tune in with me. Uh, if you interested, hit the DM, hit the message, hit the email. You got a way to contact me. May 1st, price is going to start $100 and up. It's all love. It's all peace. It's all enlightenment. We all are not turning. I'm here to help. I'm here to help grow, glow, and turn this universe to a harmonious flow.
Let's get it out of here. Be great.